Welcome back to today's video. I have for you a new review on the new Juvia's Place Coffee Shop Collection. I'm going to share with you guys today the eyeshadow palette, a look using it, and then also I'm going to swatch all 12 of the new lip gloss shades. So if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this collection just released from Juvia's Place. I did get this a little bit early because I am on their campaign list for this launch, and I was really, really excited when they said they were coming out with this. I've done a few videos now with them, and I feel like I was most excited about this collection because I really love dark browns. I love chocolate shades, and so when they said they were releasing this coffee-inspired collection, I was all about it. So this is the new eyeshadow palette right here. It's called the Coffee Shop Palette, and it does feature 16 different shades, and it is beautiful in my opinion. Like I said, I love brown tones. I love rich brown tones. You guys know this. This is the look I created using this eyeshadow palette and I feel like this is like my go-to eyeshadow look. So I was really psyched to see this new release from them. I feel like Juvia's Place has a really great formula. Their mattes are very easy to work with in my opinion. I find every time I use one of their palettes, I don't have any issues. Like, and I like that. I like that I can just go into the palette. I know exactly what I'm going to get. The Topes palette from them is one of my favorite little mini palettes. I thought since I was sitting down to do the campaign video anyways, I would kind of throw this into a YouTube review as well. I'm not being paid to do this video. I am working with them on a TikTok, but I, of course, always tell you guys my opinion no matter what. So let's get into the swatches of the palette, and then I'm also going to do lip swatches of all 12 of their new gloss shades. So these are beautiful. I actually have them on my lips right now, and I can't wait to show you guys all of the colors because they're really, really stunning. So let's get into the swatches now, and then we will get into the lip swatches. So here is a look at all 16 of the shades. You can tell just in the swatches how rich this palette is, how many different brown tones you're really getting. You have some of those really pretty like coppery shimmers that I also really enjoy. And it just, like I said, looks very easy. And I feel like this is easy for anyone that wants to get into brown eyeshadows too, because I feel like there are lots of different tones in here you can mix and match. And really honestly, any of them are gonna go well together, which is what I love about color stories like this one. And then lastly, before we get into lip swatches, I did wanna share the new lip liners with you as well. These are the coffee shop lip liners. So we have three new shades. These are all a variation of brown. So they're gonna go really well with any of these lip glosses and of course the eye palette as well. And here's a look at all three of those shades. This first one here is Cocoa Latte. And the second one is Coffee Bean. And then that last one, which is the deepest one, is Espresso. The collection is available now. If you do wanna check it out, I'll of course have it in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into those lip swatches. I thought I would include some clips of me doing the eyeshadow in case you did want some inspo with this palette since I did film this for the other video it just has voiceover over it but I figured I could just at least still show you how I created this look I basically just worked with all of the browns in the palette and then finished with this really pretty coppery silver all over the lid a little lawless mascara and that does it for the eye look getting into the lip swatches I did line my lips with this lip liner this is in the shade coffee bean and I do just want to touch this up a little bit just in here. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is Cream de Coco and this one is a very pale nude. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to match these all with this lip liner. There are three different lip liners but I think this one is going to work best with all of these shades. You guys can kind of see them how they pair together. Something this light I probably wouldn't pair with this deep of a lip liner but I kind of just want to try them all out with this one so you can see <laughs> how it looks. Kind of does look a little silly. I guess I should have just did this one on bare lips, but it's a really pretty color and this formula is very, very comfortable on the lips. Blend it in a little bit over there. But I mean, it's just not something I would typically wear together, but it's a very pretty nude lip color. The next gloss I'm gonna go in with is Coffee Break. And this one has a more of an orange nude tint to it. It's like a terracotta almost. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that one. Again, this lip liner might be a little bit dark. I didn't touch it up this time just to be safe, but add that. Ooh, I like this color too. I feel like these last two are just kind of like my ideal nude shade. Super cute. So here is that one on the lips. Really pretty again. The next gloss I'm going to go in with is the shade Butterscotch. And I wore this one earlier and this is like my perfect nude. Like oh, it's gorgeous. This is beautiful. And again, super rich pigmented formula. But this, like even with this lip liner, is like my color like perfect nude for me it's probably my favorite one from the collection i just think it's like just so perfect for my skin tone perfect for me definitely what i typically go for the next one i'm going to show you is dulce latte i think is how you say this one and i'll go ahead and apply it this one's a very very pale nude like really light it kind of has like that milky look to it now that the lip liner is disappearing a little bit i feel like it's a little bit better but 
nice and smooth again i really like this color too this is pretty especially if you wanted to like combine a couple of these two even this one with the last one maybe like a little bit of this in the center of the lip just to like make them appear a little bit more juicy i think would be really pretty too next we have the shade cookie butter and i'm gonna go ahead and apply that this one's more of like a brown nude we're kind of getting a little bit more into the deeper color deeper is that even a word <laughs> the deeper colors Ooh, this might be a toss-up between this one and the other shade i mentioned i really do like this color a lot too and then we have the shade macchiato up next and if i didn't mention these have like the best scent to them it's like a rich chocolatey vanilla scent it's so good top here this one is nice as well this one again is called mm, macchiato the next shade i'm going to be swatching is honey honey and this one has definitely got more oranginess to it as well so go ahead and apply that i do feel like like i said all of these pretty much with the exception of that really light pink look pretty good with the lip liner i do feel like it's starting to disappear a little but i feel like no matter which liner you choose they all kind of go very cute again it's kind of got more of an orangey look to it i am going to reapply a little bit since we are getting into some of the deeper colors the next shade right here is called Salted Caramel. Caramel, Caramel, how do you guys pronounce caramel? <laughs> I'd like to know. This one actually matches the lip liner perfectly. Like if you wanted two to pair together, this one I feel like is the exact same shade as the lip liner. Mmm, okay. And then we have the shade Brown Sugar up next. I love shades like this that are like a cool tone color. I feel like they look really flattering on a lot of people. Yes. I really love lips like this because I feel like they look really good on a lot of different people in general, but I also feel like in the spring and in the winter, you can wear this really all the time, obviously, but I feel like it just gives the best look to the lips. Mm, really like this color too. I really, really like that. Like I said, I love these like cool toned gloss colors. Mm, I think this one is really pretty. Getting into the last few shades, this one is a mocha chino. And this one is like, I'd say the most like berry out of all of them. This has like a tiny hint of like a rose to it and that one on the lips is actually pretty similar to the color of my lips all right Ooh, i like that one a lot too so there's that one on the lips and then next we have canyon coffee and i'll go ahead and apply this one this is the second richest shade in the collection i love that there's so many browns but they all have a different tone to them and a different look to them on the lips like I don't feel like any of these are too similar um obviously they're all like in the brown family but I don't feel like all of them look the same like each one has its own unique look to it okay and then the very last gloss in the coffee shop collection is the shade chocolate drip and like I said this one is the deepest shade oh yeah that one is nice I'm gonna go in with a second layer to build that one up a little bit I personally don't go with glosses this dark all too often. I feel like if I'm going to wear this dark of a lip, it's usually a liquid lip, but I feel like this would be nice even if you were to apply liquid lip and then maybe put like a little bit of this in the middle. I just feel like I go in with, I don't know, like deeper shades like this. I feel like I tend to use a liquid formula, but I mean, it's, it's not bad. I just feel like, I don't know. I'd be worried about it, like getting on my teeth and getting everywhere just since it's so dark, but it is a pretty color. It's hard to decide, but I think a cookie butter might've been my favorite. So I think I'm going to put this one back on the lips this one was just yeah this one's good this one probably is my favorite out of all of them okay after reapplying that that is going to do it for this video on the new juvia's place coffee shop collection please let me know down below what you guys think of this collection are you planning on picking it up i'll have links of course down below to shop if you are interested thank you as always for watching and i'll see you very soon with a brand new video bye friends